Hey y'all, today we're gonna go foraging for hardy oranges. They're also called trifoliate oranges and flying dragon oranges. So last year I discovered these on accident um, and they are a useful uh, plant that we can use. So I'm gonna start with my beauty berry and use it to rub down for some mosquito repellent. And so I'm just gonna gather a few of these little leaves, you know, and release some of the essential oils. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use them as insect repellent, mosquito repellent, so. Now that I have them all crinkled up, I'm gonna rub them on my arms to uh, keep the mosquitoes and the bugs off of me while I'm foraging for hardy oranges. Oops. Yep. When they're falling off the vine, they're ready to be harvested. Now here's a trifoliate orange. You can tell. Ouch, I just poked myself. Sorry. Alright, there's a trifoliate leaf and the thorns. Um, I just really, I don't know what else looks like that, but if you see this in the woods with the trifoliate leaves and the thorns and little yellow orange lemon looking things, you got a hearty orange. But look at, there's no oranges on this, but look at that cool sweet gum tree that has had a branch that broke off. And it's hollow on the inside. I'm sure lots of little animals make a nice home there. And it broke and went down there and it rooted itself. That's so cool. I just love that. Don't you think, Boo? Who likes it okay y'all so I uh, washed the hardy oranges you're not gonna get them perfectly yellow do not waste your time just wash them scrub them off and I just start I just start slicing them I'm gonna go with about an eighth to a quarter of an inch slices and just kind of drop the seeds off um, Hardy oranges are an, an invasive species. We have a lot on the ridge that we live on. I probably wouldn't recommend buying them and planting them because they are an invasive species. But uh, you just need to be able to identify them if you have them in your area. Okay, so how I use the hardy oranges, it's very easy for me to just put a slice or two in my breakfast smoothies in the morning. Um, you can use them to candy them, to make jelly, to make marmalade. Um, I just like, I like dehydrating them and popping a, um, one or two slices in my breakfast smoothies every morning to give me some vitamin C. And I'm going to tell you what, a slice of the dehydrated hearty oranges, it packs a punch. It's very sour. I'm not a, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a scientist, but in my simple little brain, that sour, you know, that equates to vitamin C. That's a wonderful antioxidant. And I like being able to provide it for myself instead of buying it in the grocery store. So if you like today's video, hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when we drop a new video. So you can't ever tell what we're going to be up to from camping to gardening to foraging to homegrown cooking, and we'll see y'all later.